Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make some colors really pop out in an image and kind of uh, dull down other colors. And you can do this without uh, using your eraser tool or your brush tool, per se, um, at least to begin with. And so I'm going to show you uh, a real good way to, to kind of do this that's uh, kind of quick and easy. Anybody can do it, and it doesn't take a lot of precision with the brush tool or the eraser tool or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just get started. Um, we'll just call this color pop. And, uh, and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to my layers palette. And uh, we have our background layer. With, this is a uh, lovely young lady picking some wheat out in a field. She's obviously a model of some sort. And uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to, uh, uh, in our layers palette, uh, select an adjustment layer and uh, we just do that by clicking our adjustment layer button down there and we're going to uh, choose hue and saturation um, the f uh, now that we've done this uh, th what we need to decide is uh, what colors we want to have pop and I think since uh, she has kind of some nice reds and purples in her outfit here I'm going to go ahead and select uh, or th try to make the, the red colors in this image pop and dull down everything else so what we're going to do is go to our drop down here in our adjustments layer and we're going to uh, leave reds alone. Actually, let's go with reds, and let's uh, bump up the saturation to about 30 to just enhance it a little bit more even than what it is originally. Uh, we'll go down to yellows, and we'll dull it down to maybe uh, a negative 75. Or actually, for the sake of the tutorial, let's, uh, let's take it all the way down to uh, negative 100. And we'll do that for the rest of the colors that we don't really care about which is all the rest of them. Uh, and you can certainly leave any colors that you would like to leave, but uh, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to get rid of all the other ones. Okay, so now, as you can see, um, the blues are gone out of the sky, the greens are gone out of the forest, and most of the colors are gone out of uh, everything else. Uh, just different shades of red pretty much sent through. Um, <clears throat> it's not really like a black and white picture, um, because there's a lot of colors left with this. Um, so this is simply an effect that will help these colors pop out. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is add another adjustment layer. <coughs> and it's going to be um, a black and white adjustment layer. Uh, in this adjustment layer we can uh, light up the reds and make everything else a little darker. And we'll just do that on all these sliders here. We'll make all the, everything but red about the same darkness on the sliders. And uh, if you click tint, that's going to add a little type effect to the to the work. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just go over to my la uh, adjustment layers uh, blend uh, mode setting, and I'm going to change it to overlay. And that should let uh, most of these reds pop through while really dulling down the rest of the colors. It, it makes this really kind of cool um, sort of sepia looking effect, but uh, but it just allows some of the colors to really pop through, like in the jacket and in the headband and in and, and the belt and things like that. It looks uh, kind of almost a, a high def version of this picture um, <clears throat> with these colors. And so that's pretty much it. I, I certainly uh, recommend that uh, play around with these things. Maybe you select this black and white layer and uh, see what it looks like with the tint on the overlay. I don't like that quite as much, so I'm going to take that off. But uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to my blog. Um, and uh, follow me on U uh, uh, Twitter and Facebook. And uh, thanks for watching.